The clock is ticking down toward a possible shutdown of the federal government. After spending last week in their home districts, lawmakers are back on Capitol Hill trying to work out a deal on the federal budget. And this for a reports from Washington. Lawmakers got right down to business after a week off. They headed for the floor and argued over how the government should spend its money. Less spending, lower debt, reigning in the size and scope of government, that's what's needed. The unintended consequences of those budget cuts will come back in many, many ways to harm this nation. They have until the end of this week to pass a spending bill or the federal government will have to shut down temporarily. Leading Republicans say they have a plan. So the House will pass a shorter term bill that will also keep the government running while including reasonable spending cuts at the same time. The GOP plan buys lawmakers another two weeks to reach a final budget agreement and slashes $4 billion in government spending. Democrats call it a good starting point, but they want a full month to work out their differences. Getting agreement on that final budget will be tough. Republicans want more than $60 billion in spending cuts. The president promised he'd veto any measure with those kinds of cuts, and Democrats insist the GOP's plan would put the nation's economic recovery in jeopardy. The Republican spending cuts will destroy 700,000 jobs. The clock is ticking, and neither side wants to be blamed for a shutdown. That means they'll have to compromise if they want to get a full spending plan passed and signed into law before time runs out. Ines Ferre for CBS News, Washington. And for more this morning, we are joined by David Mark, senior editor from Politico. Good morning. Thanks for being with us. Good morning. Good to be with you. All right. So we just heard Speaker Boehner talk about extending government funding another two weeks. Is that the most likely scenario, or are we going to see a shutdown? It does look like this two-week plan is going to go ahead. It seems like both sides have moved a bit, and they're willing to put together the short-term spending plan. Of course, that means they have to come up with another deal in the next couple of weeks. The White House would actually like another month or so to negotiate, but it's not clear they're going to get that. Well, let's talk about what all these sides want, because the GOP wants about $61 billion cut from the year's budget. The president and the Democrats have the power to stop that. So is there a middle ground so that each side can, you know, come to some kind of an agreement? Right. The, the Republicans, as you say, want to put, wanted to cut $61 billion for the rest of the 2011 budget. It's only seven months or so. What they try to do is essentially prorate that over the next two weeks. Democrats didn't go for those kind of cuts, but they did say we will offer some other ones, basically the kind of cuts that President Obama is already pushing. That seemed to get Republicans into agreement, and it does look like there's some room for consensus there. Realistically, is there a political advantage to be gained by Democrats if there is a shutdown? It's not clear at all who would benefit, if anybody. It's kind of a, a high-stakes game of political chicken. Both sides could make the argument that they would benefit from a shutdown, but I don't think either side really wants to test that proposition. Yeah, we keep talking about the shutdown, and what, was a, what would a government shutdown really look like? Will the doors be locked, the lights go out? I mean, what are the consequences of this? Probably the most tangible effect it could have would be to stop Social Security payments to senior citizens. That's pretty dramatic. It would also mean national parks would not be open, the Smithsonian Museums in Washington. Those are more inconveniences than ways of life. All right, well, we will be watching to see how this all plays out. Looks like they have a little bit more time if they want to decide on that. David Mark, we appreciate your insight from Politico. Thanks for being with us. Thank you.